what is going on, Lunatic Fringe? Now we got to talk about, can Luna Classic make it to $1? That's the question that CoinGape is asking today. And they're asking the question because of the tax-to-gas implementation. Tax-to-gas implementation is probably about five weeks away. With it being so far away, the question would be, are there impetus, are there catalysts that would allow something like this to happen? So uh, we're going to check that out. and We're going to see, you know, can we come to a consensus maybe a dollar is within reach i don't think that it is by the way remember i predicted 0.028 as the top of this next rally and there's a reason for that i i, I don't have the same faith in a massive move to a dollar that other people do because i don't see how the supply gets reduced in an appreciable way without some major changes. So we're going to talk about that. Um, we'll, we'll get through it as quickly as possible. If you like this type of content, make sure you hit the like button, subscribe button, and the bell to be notified. Make sure that you share this on X or on Facebook or wherever it is that you troll around. Make sure that you're sharing this with everybody so that other people can see the content. If other people see the content, they might become an investor. You never know. So let's kick this off with some important information, and we're going to start off with the news. So. Uh, first up, uh, this is a, a big development, of course. The Montenegrin Prime Minister has been, uh, we, we now have confirmation that this is a sweetheart deal that he got with uh, Terra Luna way back in the day. Uh, he invested 75000 acquired 750000 Terra Luna tokens, uh, making him 16th among early investors, 16th among a $40 billion project. So that is an absolutely crazy thing. Uh, we don't know at this point exactly how much he made off of it, but uh, there's a reason now that we're having problems and why we, we know now Duquan fled to Montenegro because he had friends in high places there. So we're going to be paying attention to this and we'll see how this plays out. Now, how does this affect the Luna Classic price? I don't think that it affects it at all at this point, just the information and the knowledge of what's coming out. I, I don't think that matters very much, but it, it is important that we recognize that th this is out there and it could have a dramatic effect one way or another on the Luna Classic price. Uh, also, uh, 1215, or 12115, which is the tax to gas, has passed, uh, leading CoinGate to ask if Luna Classic price can go to a dollar. And um, so, and really they don't have this fleshed out as an idea. With tax to gas almost near implementation, the Terra Classic community members started discussions on raising the burn tax to 1.2%. Once it is implemented, all crypto exchanges will burn on buy and sells and drive along price higher. You know, t the tax to gas implementation, um, that is, I think, a good development overall because it turns the, uh, it creates a, a, a real burn process. And look, we got to get away. You know, I'm sorry. I, I know most of you don't want to hear this because you like Binance, but we got to get fewer people trading on Binance and more people actually trading on the chain. We need to build in this ecosystem so that there's reasons to do that. We need a new anchor protocol so that people can do lending, and and that's where the price is going to get driven. And then we need that repeg. We need um, we, we need an implementation in which you buy some Luna, and you buy Luna from USTC and and, and back and forth, and and that's how you cash in and out on Luna or some of some of the the chains lunk. And if you can do that, then uh, it, you've got a constant level of burn. You buy some USTC, and when you sell the USTC, uh, the taxes, the the, the gas that that, that goes, it, it's going to end up burning a little bit. I mean, this is exactly what I've been talking about. So uh, this is the start, I think, of the real repeg. So uh, can we get there? Yes. It's going to take a little bit more time, though. Uh, but let's move on a little bit here. The proposal received 74.9%. I want to point this out because this is actually very, very important. Uh, almost everybody voted yes, but 25% uh, abstain. Now, this is right here, very important. This is all nodes trying to uh, step in and order people to do their bidding in some fashion. Uh, top Terra Luna Classic validator, all nodes voted abstain and warned the community about the low level of discussions. We are abstaining as we acknowledge the community sentiment it is important to note that we are not satisfied with the public communication and will consider voting no on further proposals if we do not see an improvement. So the question is, what are they not seeing? So um, it, it's 
very interesting that all nodes who i mean everybody uses all nodes for their own validator and, and all nodes makes a killing off of it all nodes by the way has no interest it is my opinion has no interest in reviving this chain at this point um because you know this is a cottage industry for them where they charge people thousands of dollars a month uh, to 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 rent a validator so that somebody like a Lunk Live or and I don't know if Lunk Live is part of it but you know Lunk Live or or any of these other guys are part of this uh, are are uh, are validating but they're all doing it through all nodes they're the ones that are supplying it and they're paying all nodes for access to it so all nodes if you have a hundred validators and they're getting you know five thousand dollars a month from each one of them that's fifty thousand dollars a month. Or five hundred thousand dollars a month. They're getting a, a significant amount of money off of all of us for uh, just providing this validation principle, and it and it leaves it pretty centralized to me. So, you know, I, I don't know that uh, All Notes is thinking clearly about anything other than you know this is easy money for them. So I don't really at this point trust that they're looking out for the best in the community and by the way that doesn't mean that they're not looking out for the best of the project overall but the but the project is sometimes a little different from the community a lot of people got into this because they're dgens if you will and i think that you know part of being a dgen is you're looking for that aping opportunity and you're getting that big you know uh you're getting that rising tide to lift all boats if you will uh, and, and then you're going to hodl until you get to a dollar or a penny or whatever your target number is. Um, and I think all knows is just looking at this from a longer term perspective, again, because this is where they make a, a pretty good amount of money. So, uh, and if you don't think they're making a pretty good amount of money, you are kidding yourself. So, I, 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 they, they might like the status quo the way the status quo is. It doesn't matter how much volume that you're trading. Uh, it matters how much they're getting every month from you for that. So I, I do have some concerns about all nodes, but that's probably for a different time. Um, so we'll talk about it. Um, but it's validators hide in their group. Remember that? We just had that conversation here. Lunk eToro Community 23. He's actually saying exactly what it looks like all nodes is saying. You know, I, I, so you know, maybe there is some validity to it. Maybe I was a little bit um, overreactionary when he when he started making this post over here. I mean, maybe just maybe um, there is some truth to that, and and you know, people want to have a more open discussion. I disagree with it, but I understand. You know, after seeing all nodes say the same thing, that you know, maybe there is some some question. Uh, let's look at price real quick. Um, you can see that we got the nice little rip off of, we got the, the big dip down here, you know, a huge move down. And now we've started to make that upward momentum. We're now at 93, basically four zeros, 93, uh, long way to go. Uh, but we've used successfully so far the 20 MA as a retest right there. Uh, looks like we banged off of it twice right now should cause some positive movement to the upside. Uh, the market is up about $27 billion. As I record this, the U.S. market is opening up. U.S. market are takers. They're not makers at this point. Uh, the, the, they've been sucking liquidity out of crypto for a while now. So every time you get, you know, $50 billion came into the market last night from the European and Middle Eastern markets and immediately getting sucked out this morning by the U.S. markets. Uh, however, uh, in, in about four hours, the U.S. market should really, you know, we'll see how the day is going to go. Uh, after they suck the liquidity out, we'll see whether they put it back in. So we don't know yet. And then, of course, you know that's really Bitcoin at this point. Bitcoin and Ethereum because the Ethereum ETF is coming in the United States. So you know we're getting a nice little rip on some of this stuff. But you know, again, it's going to take a little bit of time. We'll see what the recovery really kind of looks like. And let you know. Uh, so uh, moving on though, the 18 million in trade volume, insa insanely low. Uh, 16 million in USTC. Uh, uh, how do we get to this? How do we get here? You know, like, this is absolutely crazy. Uh, now, before we move on here, I want to talk to you about Coin Hall. Now, you can see my bag up here. Uh, my bag at different points has been, you know, $200, $300, $537. I woke up this morning, it's $2,400. Now, you might be saying to yourself, oh, cash that shit out. That's awesome. Uh, no, it's not. Because guess what? Um, uh, this is part of rug pulls. Now, what I do is some of these tokens send me tokens uh, because I cover them. You know, I, I, I come out to you every day and I point out some of these different projects and stuff like that. I'm like, if you want to get a shout out, if you want to get a mention here, then just send me tokens into this wallet. You can watch it every single day and you find the good actors and you find the bad actors, right? So you got Pepe M, stuff like that. 
that having a seven day increase, 111 million uh, over 24 hours, 414. You might be asking yourself, you might be saying to yourself, like, wait a minute, that's a 414x. Like, Jesus Christ, that's awesome. Um, no, it's not. No, it's not. I'm going to show you why. Um, anyway, uh, and, and by the way, that's that's not a 10, that's a uh, 4,000x. Yeah, 4,000x. Uh, so, Let's look at it and let's figure it out, right? So 2,400, uh, what is that 2,400 right there? It says end meme over here. $2,167 is what the value is of my 18 million tokens that were sent to me. And you can see here, like I just have a, a little list of tokens that have been sent to me, right? So let's look at, at one of them, end meme, right? End meme. It only has a thousand dollars in liquidity. How did it? You know what is going on over here? And you can see right here, there's like a uh, there, there's there's some small buys coming in, some small volume coming in, but it only has a thousand dollars in liquidity. Like uh, I don't think that you could cash this out. Like you know if I if I um, I, I guess I'm connected here. Um, yeah, I mean I guess I'm connected. We could see exactly what happens here. Let's swap that over there, uh, and then let's. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. And you can see, yeah, we're here, we're here. Let's do the balance here. All right, so we can pop that up here, and we got end meme, and it's got $46 of realized value right there. You can see that. Uh, and then if you trade that for some Terra, then you look at the value here, it's 42. That, there's a, a little differential, no big deal, but not $2,400. Um, you know, so, so there's just some weird stuff that goes on, especially with low liquidity. Uh, but if we look a little bit further, uh, then you see some of these, you know, just, um, they, they, they just, um, they're, they're not really, I want you to be careful. Uh, my point here is be very careful. And there's nothing against end meme. There's nothing against any of these other ones. It's just that, you know, these things move dramatically and some of them, um, uh, you know, some of them have and don't have liquidity. And you might be asking yourself, why are you telling me this, please? Like, what are you doing? Well, because all of this is a risk. All of this is a gamble. That's right. I said gamble. And what I meant was, Gamble. When I said that, what I meant was, you know, you should check out Terra Casino. Why? Because they burn more Luna Classic than almost anybody out here. And it's some risk-based gaming. Everybody likes to play a little bit of risk-based gaming. If you do, then you owe it to yourself to go check this out. Terra Casino has a fantastic opportunity for you here. You can use Lunk, you can use Luna, you can use Bitcoin, Ethereum, BNB, Polygon, Matic, BUSD, USDC, USDT, or Dogecoin in order to do this. Now, uh, there are plenty of games out here. There's things like Gates of Olympus, Sweet Bonanza, Sugar Rush, Gates of Olympus 1000, uh, Plinko, Mega Sick, but you can play poker, you can play whatever it is that you're looking to do. There is a live casino available for you whenever you wanna do it. And, 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 and you wanna do sports-based wagering, you're able to do sports-based wagering over here. And in fact, there's a pretty robust list of games that you can uh, wager on. And in fact, you've got real-time scores coming up here. So, go check out Terra Casino today and maybe you become a winner. And if you don't become a winner, you're still a burner. There's no loose in this. Go check it out. So anyway, it's a gamble. So uh, be very careful with some of these. You know, liquidity is low on some of them. They'll, they'll have big spikes. They'll have big moves. And, you know, you may not be able to cash them out because of that. So, you know, just be very, very careful with, with what you're doing here. And go to coinhall.org if you want to check that out. But if you want to do the trading I'm going to show you where to do the trading in just a second. Station uh, 12116 message update parameters is uh, being done right now. You know, again, I you know you might be on Lunk Dash. Let's go look at the voting. Cryptonomy.finance just had an update. They are now available in four different languages. In active development are a lot of cool different updates and information about partnerships from Cryptonomy that's going to be announced very, very soon. Now, to be part of that, follow them on Telegram at Cryptonomy underscore finance and on twitter at cryptonomy underscore phi now what's going on with cryptonomy.finance is nothing short of incredible my positions on this launch pad have been just outstanding and my contract ends november 21 of 2024 and at this point i think that that's not even going to be the max of the bull run so if you will give me just a moment here i'm going and by the way i've done very well on cryptonomy i'm going to go with the silver level contract going to end right here 19 june 2025 we're going to go three bitcoin on this move all right so we've got a bronze that's been just absolutely killing the game, guys. I put in half a Bitcoin uh, previously. If you remember, that was $30,000 Bitcoin at that point. So, you know, we put in about $15,000. My crude interest so far, and, and by the way, I do have, this is a share because it's a 50-50 split, but my cut of that $84,241 right now in Bitcoin. 
So this is an incredible rate of return so far for Cryptonomy.Finance. So uh, do you want to be part of that? Sign up to Cryptonomy.Finance today. Uh, no with Veto is Golden Rush. No is all nodes with 14%. They are tipping their hat here. They don't like the fact that um, I, I'm going to assume because I, I don't think I would either. Um, this basically what they're telling you is uh, message update params. That's it. Uh, and it says this right here. Um, you know, and, and maybe people don't understand exactly what this is, you know, so um, people are just putting out these proposals or this proposal just being thrown out there for voting and and, and nobody even knows what it is that they're uh, that, that they're voting on. So it, it could be that all notes is correct that we need a little bit more clarification for whatever it is. So um, let's move on. Burn metrics are showing a little bit more burn, 294 million so far in the last seven days, which is actually a pretty decent number. Uh, again, we're not setting the world on fire with it. We're not setting the tokens on fire with it either. But, you know, uh, but here, if you want to do some trading, Terraport. Terraport is brand, look, look, they've got a brand new interface. They've got a brand new infrastructure um, and a, a list up here of the top traded tokens. Luna Classic, of course, USTC, USDC, Rackoff number four. Rackoff is still just really having a good time of it. Um, and, and look, he's an octogenarian. This was named, ironically, after Judge Jed Rackoff, uh, who is something of a what the French call Jackoff who is uh, ignoring Judge Annalisa Torres' rulings on the Ripple XRP case and doing whatever he wants in order to help the SEC. He's also part of the conspiracy here uh, with Duquan in order to uh, try to get that $4.5 billion settlement that they don't have the money for. Not because of that, but because he's cucking for the SEC because what the SEC wants is they want to steal money from other good cryptocurrency organizations uh, by shaking them down. And now that they've got a $4.5 billion shakedown from a company, uh, they can start to uh, do the, you know, they can start to like dig in and, you know, work through their whatevers. And I, I just, I don't like it. it, it I, do, I do not like it. So uh, let me know what you think, by the way, in the comments down below, but I'm not a fan of what they're doing right now. So anyway, Go check out Terraport. They're the, they're the sponsor. These daily updates, they happen to you because of people like Terraport Finance. They happen to you because of people like Terra Casino. Uh, I just showed you my wallet here. It's, a, it's an open wallet for you to go check out. Um, and, and all the, the tokens or coins that get thrown my way. Uh, if you're a developer and you want to put coins into that wallet to let people see how they grow, then you're welcome to, to send it out. It's in the description down below. Um, I don't sell them. So um, they're, they're, they're basically for show. And, and what I ask is like send $20 fifty dollars something like that in your tokens so that they're sitting right there so that people can see and when that wallet grows and it gets very big then people will know that this is a thriving economy and a thriving ecosystem so um you know all you have to do is your part i'll do my part they'll do their part as long as you guys are supportive of terra casino uh as long as you're supportive of terra uh terra port and there we have it so uh make sure you check those out and if you do then good if you don't that's bad and you should be good because that's what that's what Donald Trump wants. He wants you to be good. He wants you to be a good person. And if you're a good person, you should use those too. It's not financial advice, but I'm always right.